Yeah, I don't want a lane diver, though. I want a red X for me, please. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not having a lane divert. It's half as nine, ten o'clock at night. Pretty damn dark. Visibility's awful leaving this bay because of the overgrowth. So I, I either want a red X or I'll have to obviously hang up the call and get the police out. It's your call. <laughs> An emergency job on M6 motorway, but first thing we need to do is give National Highways a call whilst we're en route to the That's job. Mobile tyres. I'm just calling to report a breakdown on the M6 that we're attending in an ERA bay, but also to call if we can get highways to attend on safety grounds, please. Of course. What's your ETA? Uh, 10 to 15 minutes, so fairly quick. Okay, so I've got uh, Location, uh, it's the M6 between junctions 13 and 12 on the southbound. I think I spoke to you about a week and a half, two weeks ago. I do recall your voice. Yeah. You do recall uh, the voice, I recall your yeah, voice too. Yeah. And you know what? I still never heard an outcome from that uh, Freedom of Information request. Really? Yeah, ma'am. That's shocking, mate, because I definitely went over. No, it's alright, I believe what you say. It's highways which we don't believe, mate. It's the powers there uh, higher up, mate. Yeah, yeah, I, it would, I wouldn't have ignored that box, I do remember. No, no, I, I trusted what you said, we were on the phone for a good bit of time, to be fair. Yeah, uh, it was my phone. But uh, you... Right, yeah. so, No, I was just saying, uh, this new hidden policy about them not putting red X's on, so that's why I'm calling up to get a traffic officer to sit behind me on every job that I do, on safety grounds if the resources are available, obviously. I uh, can't remember the exact words, I don't quote them, but something like using their discretion, whether it needs a red X or not, it's down to them. But when I'm talking to them on an SOS phone in the lay-by, they're saying they're not allowed to do it. So there's a little bit of something, confusion somewhere in the pipeline. Where did you get that information from? Because it must be on the website. No, I know the website's still the same, and this is the exact same argument I've had. Now, even if you go on a tweet from National Highways on Twitter, which I don't have, but somebody else has shown me, National Highways actually states on a reply that they will do a red X, they can set it immediately if somebody asks, but it actually, what they replied, it's by default, they will only set a lane divert, but they do have the powers to set a red X, basically, should they need to. So... Yeah, well, exactly, it's an advisory, so it's only politely asking somebody to move out the lane, but they don't have to. Exactly. They don't exactly. have to move exactly. out. If that's ignored, they're doing the back of you. Exactly my okay. point, my friend. I'm glad you understand. Okay. An arrow lane, most people, until it turns into an X, and then they'll move out. So this is yeah, the yeah. bit I'm getting at. It's This move is lethal, mate. It's dangerous as hell. And I have broadcasted bits on my YouTube, my TikToks and whatever, and Instagram, to try and get the powers it be to see it and bloody change it. Because this is just a ticking time bomb until somebody's going to either get caught up in a crash or there's going to be a fatality until they change it. And the next move of me, mate, if highways don't change it back to the old process of shutting a lane off just whilst you leave a bay, I'm going to set up a protest at National Highways in Birmingham and I'm going to cause some absolute carnage there for as long as I need to before I get moved on. Well, he's putting, he's putting you at risk, isn't it? Isn't it's beyond it? risk. It's putting us on a life or death sentence, you know, within metres and minutes. We're meant to work together and we're meant to, the whole thing is smart motorway. It's the people behind it. No offence to you, you're, you know, you've understood the assignment last time and, you know, you've done your best, but the higher ups, mate, they're bloody awful. They need to come out with me for a couple hours or a day and I'll show okay, them and they'll, yeah. they'll go straight to bloody Wix's or bloody wherever after and they'll be painting the bloody white line for our shoulder back, I tell you. <laughs> I promise you, mate, I promise you. Or I'll put them in their, I'll, I'll, or I'll put them in their fancy BMW or Mercedes, and I'll have a button that I'll turn their vehicle off in a live lane 
and they won't be able to roll to get to a lay-by. And then let's see if the smart technology picks them up and detects and put a red X on straight away, because I can tell you now, it well, bloody won't. Well, hopefully, well, hopefully we'll speak in the future, mate. Yeah, fingers crossed for get out the bay alive, yeah? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thanks so for all the details. As soon as I finish this job, I'll give you a ring. No worries, thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Not bad. Right, I'll get this sorted as quick as I can for you. Awesome. Long story short, highways have basically changed the policy when we leave these bays. Yep. They won't put red X's on. So long story short, I've basically rang highways up because I want them to come and sit behind us whilst I do the job and they'll have the powers to hopefully put a red X on for us to leave. Right. So if you see a 4 before pull up a flashing light, it's need not panic. It's just me to call them to get them out. Do you know where your little locking nut is in the vehicle? Or have you got it in your pocket? I don't, I don't think the locking nuts have been put on the wheels. Okay. Oh, he's all right. Oh, you've um, got it. Okay, so may not have put it back on. Um, I have to get the covers off and we'll soon find out. The sod's law is we've literally picked it up about, about 6 o'clock. Oh, tonight? About 30 miles. Oh, Jesus. Miles. Bloody hell. <coughs> Need not panic. If you just stay here, keep an eye out for any obviously traffic. If something starts indicating an ear it's coming in hot, just scream at the top of your lungs and get up there. Yeah, yeah, but obviously there's a lot of nettles and stuff around you. It's a bit hard to stand somewhere safe like. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather a nettle though than a lorry. Well, that's right. Well, you keep your eyes out for me. <laughs> the thing is that you got to think, if you couldn't limp in that 600 yards, you're with that. Yeah. And I tell you, the new technology will not pick you up like, like they say it does on Channel 5. Yeah, it'll look bad because you've obviously drove on it, but I'd rather you drive on it than a, would be a sitting duck out there. But yeah, tread-wise, it was all right. It's just because you've had to drive on it, that's all. No panic, be about five, ten minutes.
Oh, mm. survey says. Thank you very much. Oh, well, no traffic officer yet. Nope. I didn't think there would be. Their favourite word when I try and call them out yeah. is they're all on incidents. Which basically means they're at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be arsed. Yeah, normally I'd park behind you, but because I've rang them up for them to attend and sit yeah, behind yeah. us, they wouldn't do anything if they're in front, basically, that's all. So I'm doing a bit of trial and error. If they don't come, I'm going to ring up on that phone, which you meant to do, because their website still says they'll shut the lane down electronic for us to rejoin safely. If they refuse it, I'll just treble nine it, get the police out, and then police can moan at highways for not doing a simple safety instruction, basically. It's too dangerous. I see too many near misses when you leave these bays. And the problem is now they've changed it from an X to an arrow only, people will stay in a narrow lane until it goes to an X. So now people have got to kind of go backwards with what they've been putting out for the past however many years. It's awful. But because they're sitting in an office, it doesn't matter, they're not going to get killed. But when we're on the motorway every hour, every two hours of the day, they don't see it. They don't see how dangerous it is. And they don't see all the near misses that we have. And that's why I have cameras for everything I do I now. Before, some guy pulled up in a fucking bar, ah. got out, had a piss, and gone again. Pulled out in front of a lorry and almost fucking got himself killed. Yep, 100%. It's all it takes, honestly, it's awful. I have to advise you to retort the wheel nuts after 30 miles, basically, tomorrow when you go to your pasta tyre shop, just get them to double check the wheel nuts. But when they've been put on properly, it's very rare that they'll go loose. Very rare. Right, just stay here until further instruction. Oh, you know, I've not broken down. I'm a mobile tyre fitter. I'm just calling to get a temporary lane one closure so we can rejoin the carriageway safely, please. Four digit number is 6155 five, Bravo, M6 junction 13 to 12 southbound. Uh -huh. I was originally uh, waiting for a highways officer to attend, but nobody's turned up by the time I've got here and done the job. Just to let you know. Yeah, it's alright. Not your fault. It's alright. I did pre ring this in and, you know, blah blah. I've done everything major right, but okay, you know, probably another incident or something like that. Favourite word. Yeah. And when I politely ask for a temporary lane one, I'd like a temporary lane one red X, please. I do have a question if you can multitask. Yeah, so I've been told it's this new default that you'd normally just do a lane diver. Hmm. Going forward at the moment, yes. And who, who set this? Who told you to do this? working instruction because oh. do you think that's wrong compliance i know but what ruins it though like what ruins it is you know a red x is safety they still advertise on the website we'll close a red x you know we'll send an officer out you know it's just not right i just don't find it's right when we talk about being safe and smart it's just wrong
I know you can only say what you can say on a recorded phone call, but you know, it is wrong in the real world. And I am taking action against it. It needs to change back to the old way, going straight away, bang, red X, vehicle rejoining into live lane into carriageway. Vehicle merging back into motorway, whatever. Yeah, I don't want a lane diver, I want a red X for me, please. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not having a lane divert. It's Arpa's 9, 10 o'clock at night, pretty damn dark. Visibility's awful leaving this bay because of the overgrowth. So I, I either want a red X or I'll have to obviously hang up the call and get the police out. It's your call. I was told it's down to the operator, down to their instruction, down to their, I don't know, I can't remember the word exactly, but it's down to you if you want to set a red X or not. It is down to you, yeah. Yeah, monitoring's fine, you can monitor all you want, but I'm saying I want a red X to leave this bay. So you can either do it for me or you don't have to. It's up to you, totally up to you. Yeah. We're just slowly getting somewhere, slowly. She said lane divert. I said I ain't settling for a lane divert. Look how dark it is. How are we going to tell which headlights are in lane one or two? We ain't going to know. I know you can't tell him with all the overgrowth so I've said I want a red X or I'm hanging up and I'm calling police it's honestly man you saw it earlier yourself and it takes no time at all and you, you're done and it is down to this lady on the phone she said it's down to her if she wants to put a red X on or just a diver because she can monitor the traffic there but what is she going to do if we're pulling out and a vehicle's in lane one or it comes back into lane one whose fault is it then because it ain't mine and it ain't yours and it ain't the other person if a lane's open. It's highways, it's this lady on the phone who'd be at fault. It's disgusting, honestly, it's rough as anything. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not asking for a lot, I'm just saying I want to leave here safely, you know what I mean? And you've got a brand new car, you don't want it to be any more damage than what's happened already, do you? You just picked her up. And the time it takes a lane diver in this Red X, it's no different in time. Yeah. We're gone in 30 to 60 seconds, we're yeah. done, we're done. So she's put me on hold, she's basically going to be talking to a manager or something like that. Yeah, because they put a lane diver, it might be down to 60, which is great, but the lane's still open. And a lot of chances, especially as you get further down south to where that is. Well, yeah, they will. They will. They'll move straight back in. Because they think that's the incident, but they don't know if it's here or further up. And until they see an X, they don't really care. Yeah. What? You can just never say never. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's one in lane one there, isn't it? Yeah, slowly moving over now, ah. Oh yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's unsafe. Yeah, every time I leave this bay, it's unsafe unless there's a temporary lane one closure in place. But we shouldn't have to do this process where I'm forcing to tell you to do it. It's wrong. You shouldn't have to. You should be like, yes, Greg, are you both ready to go? Yes, we are. Right, you've got Red X for 60 seconds. Done. I'll still watch you on camera to make sure you get out safely. change it to Red X, I appreciate you and I thank you very much, but I shouldn't have had to fight for it. Good news, a Red X is now going on, so it will be properly, temporarily shut. That is set. Yeah, and what was your name just for reference? Hello, are you still there? Yeah, what was your name just for reference? Ah, she won't give me a name, she's hung up. Oh well, so now I'm going to tell you, so good news, the lane is now Red X electronic closed, so there should be nobody really in it, however it does not mean that everybody will adhere to it, but if it is the fact that we then move out into a lane, I'm I'll check your mirrors first by all means, but if we pull out, it's not us at fault, 
because somebody's contravened they've gone in a closed lane yeah. um so yeah i'll watch you get back in your vehicle obviously i'm gonna go first when you do leave here go as quick as you can like lewis hamilton on the weekend and have a good look in that mirror yeah right i'll let you get back in and that's it look how much slower it is now look look at that way better way better thank you very much no worries mate all the best Thanks for your help, mate. no problem <laughs> Miss No Name on the old boat, away. Finally got the X on. That's me rejoined safely. Customer behind, rejoined safely. Back to national speed limit, 70 mile an hour. Look at that. How hard was that? How hard was that? We are back to national speed limit. It's all done within 60 seconds. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Bring back the hard shoulder and make them as wide as what a refuge area is. And that will be future-proofed for absolute years to come. I'll just say lane divert with a right arrow, not a left arrow. I'm just saying make sure it's an arrow that's pointing to the right, not to the left. <laughs> no, no, it's National Highways, mate. You never say never. All right, well, if you're already putting a lane divert, just be mindful if anything does happen, it will be on highways as back if there is an incident, okay? Absolutely fine. And what was your name for reference? I don't need your name. Any badge number? Team leader? No, so no name at National Highways on this phone, yeah? Okay. So two lane diverts prior to our location, you'll keep an eye on us on camera. On now, so I can leave this base safely with my customers. Are you refusing to do that? I don't want a lane divert. I've still got a HGV in lane one. Right there now, DHL or whatever it is, a yellow lorry. It's not compliant. Yes, DHL in lane one. This bit why I, I'm not too bad because it's a straight road. Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my van a little bit over this curb yes. so you can look in your right mirror. Just because that's on there, they are legally still allowed to drive in lane one yes. because it's not a closed lane, it's still a live lane um, and it's still open. But we've got a good straight road here so you should be able to see quite far. When you do leave, just kind of go as quick as you can and build up your speed as soon as you can. But just be mindful, some people will be going from lane two back into lane one because you've got exit junction yeah, yeah. 15 just there. Yeah. Super. Right, right, I'll watch you get in and just let me reverse back so you can see out that mirror. No problem at all. Have a good one. Look at that. Thank you very much. <laughs> see you later. Part one, part one, it's day one. Leyland daft, body off.